guys Steph here okay as before we've got another pen to show you before and after some of you eagle-eyed viewers well I know there were some of you eagle vibe viewers because this pen it was very popular I had quite a number of inquiries for this pen and here it is as you can see a lovely pen as you can see already just uh, needs a couple of uh, issues sorting out the clip the uh, the piston etc but what we'll do we'll give it a little bit of TLC and after the TLC here we have the pen in question absolutely gorgeous what we've got for you here is the Pelican number 400 now the 400 series the vintage 400 series um, came out around about 1950s through to I believe around about 1956 now they brought out two versions and this one is what they term as the early version and being the early version I'm dating this pen between 1950 and 1954 there's numerous reasons um, why they term it the early versions or how you can tell and we'll go through that as we show you show you this pen the size of the pen capped 126 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a lovely 126 millimeters in diameter as you can see comes in black and this color is actually although it actually looks a little bit on the green side it's actually the grey, the grey or silver pearl colour. Okay, very nice indeed. We've got the blind cap to the bottom in black as well. And there you can see the inner barrel is nice and clean. It's actually transparent. So you can see the ink inside the pen. So it's been nicely cleaned internally. It's got what we term as gold filled trim. It's got this cap band to the bottom here. And it's got the very recognisable pelican clip. Okay, there's a sideways view. We've got this little band to the very top of the cap as well. And to the very top there we've got the pelican logo. As you see on a number of pelican pens. Now why is it the early version? If we go back to the cap band there. If I sort of turn it round you can see there's no markings on it at all um, that's one of the reasons we can date it to be in the earlier versions because in 1954 um, they then introduced a model where they actually put the Pelican 400 on the cap band so the fact that this doesn't have no engraving of Pelican indicates that it's an earlier earlier version okay now as I say it comes in this lovely um, silver grey pearl what we've also got to the very bottom to the sort of the piston knob there we've got HM which is indicating that the nib is a hard medium nib also what we have if I can sort of look over I think it's about there if I show you just to the bottom of the barrel it's you can still read it but it's a little bit on the faint side but what it actually reads is export and then underneath it has Gunther Wagner Pelican okay so as I turn it I'm not sure if it'll actually be visible like I say it's not you can read it by eye but it's just a little bit difficult on these on these videos to show you but it does say export Gunther Wagner Pelican so the fact that it says export I'm not a hundred percent sure did it actually mean that this pen was made for the export market again not not actually a hundred percent sure so as we said one of the difference being is it, it's got no Pelican 400 because that was introduced in 19, 1954 so if we take the cap off for you like so, show you the pen in numerous different angles. As I say, it's been fully serviced, fully cleaned, and uh, everything is in working order. Now, 
again you can see the the barrel there the translucency and if we sh turn the the plunger knob here there we go to the left there you go you can see the plunger inside or the piston works its way to the top and then if we turn it the other way you can see it retreats back into back into the barrel so in full working order and as you can see lovely yeah lovely and transparent inside the barrel let's take you up to the section you can see it's got the very sort of reminiscence of all pelican sections there and then if we go to the nib okay let's keep it nice and still for you it reads pelican 585 14 carat with a K and then again underneath it's got HM HM again telling us that it's a hard medium nib but once again this nib is what they term as the earlier version again between 1950 and 1954 you can see it's written in script because in 19, uh, 1954 they then introduced the nib with the Pelican logo. So that's again another indicator that this is the early, early version. There's a sideways view. There's the sort of uh, Pelican feed underneath there. Again, everything is nice and clean. But a lovely, lovely pen. Very nice to hold, a lovely size. Um, as I say, this one, I had a lot of inquiries for this pen. But unfortunately, um, one gentleman, he reserved the pen subject to service and restoration. Um, so I'm sorry to everybody else. But I wish I had more, more of these to go around because, yep, yeah, they are very, very popular pens. Now, because it's nice and clean inside, we're not, we're not going to fill the pen. We're going to leave that to the new owner. He can put whatever colour ink he wants inside. But what we'll do, let's do a dip test. So what we have is a, a Pelican. As we said, this one is the number, the number 400 and it's dated between as we said before between 1950 and 1954 because again in 1954 they changed there was some slight changes but again this is the early the early version okay just in case you people don't know Uh, made in Germany as it says on the nib it's hard medium so I don't expect I don't expect any variation in line but a lovely lovely writer very nice indeed so there's a writing sample writing I would say in a medium line writing very nicely indeed and I'm sure it's going to get many, many years of use with the new owner. So, what we'll do, we'll clean that nib after the video. And there we have it. A very popular, stunning Pelican number 400. One thing I didn't show you, if you look at the, the barrel there, it's got... It's got an engraving on the barrel but very discreet and hardly notified, it was so hardly noticeable I nearly forgot to mention it myself. But a gorgeous, handsome fountain pen and very, very popular as I said. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe as well, you people. But for now, I'll just say Slavo Krajini. And from me, 
and this gorgeous pen, I'm just going to say bye bye for now.